Welcome back to Flippin' Friday, episode number eight. Today, we're gonna be getting yet another pretty high profit yield on this gaming PC flip. I'm gonna show you exactly how you can repeat the process to make yourself some money. But more importantly, I just want to remind you guys that at zaxtechdrip.com slash merch, you can get some pretty cool hoodies like this. But way more importantly than that, let's see what we're working with today. Real quickly, this is a very quick sneak peek of everything that we're gonna be using today. I paid $607 for every on the table here and this build is hopefully going to be sold for $800 which is almost a $200 profit. Let's queue up the quick building montage and then we'll talk about the performance parts. Before we start building, let's just go over the performance parts, like I said. For our CPU, this is the Intel i3-10105F for the very standard sale price on Staples for $83. Really good start. Pairing that with a unbranded box of a Gigabyte B460 motherboard that I picked up used off Newegg for just $83. So $83 and $76. I love starting flips with these really good CPU and motherboard combos. For the RAM, this isn't hard to find these days, guys. This is just a crucial ballistics two byte, eight gigabyte kit clocked at 3200 megahertz, but it is the all white version. But RAM is just not that hard to find these days, at least DDR4. And then finally, for the graphics card, this was the pickup that's going to save this entire build. This is a GTX 980, the two fan version from EVGA. I bought this on Mercari for just $200, which is a really, really good price considering that's what I'm paying for GTX 970. So the fact that we got a 980 for that price, that's going to pair perfectly with the rest of this system here. And then just like every other episode, everything that I'm about to build with and talk about today is of course linked down in the description. And also just like I say, for all of your gaming PC flips, you got to make sure you activate Windows 10. And good thing we have a solid sponsor for today's video that can help you out with that. Today's video is sponsored by ICMMO.com, which is kindly hooking you guys up with not just an activated version of Windows 10 and removing that nasty watermark, but they're also giving you guys an exclusive AF 35% discount code if you use ZAH35. Buying keys are super simple. Just head on down to the links in the description. Once you add that Windows 10 key to your cart, make sure you use the discount code ZAH35 and that'll drop the price down to less than 10 bucks. There's a ton of different ways to pay, including PayPal. And after buying, you'll be able to extract your key. From there, simply press the start button on your desktop, type in activation, paste in your key, and boom, Windows 10 is now activated and you're good to go. Head on down to the links in the description and big thanks again to icmmo.com for sponsoring today's video. Before we install this Vitro V5 cooler in here, I just wanted to quickly talk about this CPU and motherboard combo again. Staples has been running really good sales on this i3-10105F for $83. When you pair that with a super budget $76 refurbished B460 motherboard from a place like Newegg, that costs $159 in total, which is such a good start to a gaming PC flip like this. Normally, if you bought everything new, not on a sale, this combo would cost over like $210. So that instantly puts us about $50 ahead of the game, just right off the bat. And you love to see it. It's always really important to start ahead of the game on a PC flip. Usually you can accomplish that by just getting a couple good deals on the CPU and motherboard combo. This is why I almost talk about this in every single episode. But now that we're about $50 just ahead of the game in terms of price to performance, that gives us a little bit of leeway for if we want to make some more aesthetic minded choices or whatnot, or if you just want to increase your profits, which is obviously perfectly acceptable. But let's keep building.
Now that our power supply and our motherboard are fully prepped and ready to go, it's time to get out this case. And I want to talk about this real quickly. This is the DIY PC Rainbow Flash F4W. And for $50, it actually looks really nice, especially this white and black aesthetic. But the problem is we discovered in a previous Flip and Friday episode that these RGB fans are disgusting. The colors that these produce are so gross. And I unfortunately bought two of these whenever they went on sale for $50, so I'm stuck with this one. And that's why I had to buy this five pack of RGB fans. One of them I put on the CPU cooler because I think the white and black aesthetic is gonna look pretty nice. But if you'll recall, I said we're $50 ahead of the game because of the CPU and motherboard combo. And now that this case set us back $50, and we had to spend $30 on the fans. That's essentially $80 for just the cooling and the case setup, which is gonna set us a little bit behind, unfortunately, but sometimes things like this happen. That's why you don't buy two products whenever you don't know if it's a good or bad one. But lesson learned, this will be the last time that I use this case. So if you are following this as a build guide, I would highly recommend just not using this case, but just in case if you are, it's very important that you remove all of these fans before you start installing your components. And we have to install these up here RGB fans because if you had the CPU cooler and especially like the graphics card or the power supply, it would be really tough to get to some of these screw holes. So definitely do this before you start building. And then just one more thing on this topic real quickly, specifically, to flipping because this is flipping Friday. This is the exact process that you don't want to do whenever you're flipping gaming PCs. Whenever you're flipping, you want to be as efficiently as possible with both your money and your time. And what I'm having to do with this case is going against both of them. So try to plan ahead. Don't buy multiple quantities of products like I did with this case unless you know it's a solid product. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come. The build looks absolutely fantastic without any of the RGBs. I'm so happy with how that turned out. And let's press this power button here and see what, oh, oh my goodness. Once again, I'm sorry for the screen shake. Oh, that looks so good. The first color that it selected was blue here, as you can see. We will be able to remove that orange RGB from the Gigabyte motherboard. Don't worry about that. But that just looks so good. And I really like how with these up here fans, you can just easily change the color. Let's go red, and eh, that's not looking too good. Green looks pretty solid, yellow, pink or slash purple. That actually looks really nice. Honestly, I think I like the original blue the best. That looks so good. So let's quickly go over the entire parts list once again, and we'll recap this video. Ooh, that looks so nice. All right, so here you have the full parts list, which again totaled to $607. I didn't have to go at the end there and add more parts like I sometimes do in this series, but I'm gonna attempt to sell this build at $800, which is an almost $200 profit. And we can get away with that because of the really good deals such as that CPU and motherboard combo, and especially the GTX 980 deal, which is an extremely underrated GPU for 1080p gaming in 2022. Picking that up for $200 on Mercari was super Super clutch. And speaking of that 980, I of course had Sam whip up a quick benchmarking run. No gaming footage or anything. Just wanted to show the numbers for those of you that are interested in what this 10105F and GTX 980 is capable of. And then of course, if you want to get those frame rates for yourself with this gaming PC, I sell this build along with every other build that I assemble here on the channel over on zaxtechturf.com slash shop. We just had a February 1st launch where we sold out all 10 builds in just under five hours, which is definitely a record 
groundbreaking launch. So these builds are going quickly. This build will be for sale on the March 1st launch. So if you wanna grab this, uh, you probably wanna hurry up because the demand is quite high here in the ZTT community right now. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this eighth episode of Flippin' Friday. If you haven't already, make sure you go watch the first seven episodes. This one looks so good, such a good uh, build here for the stupid low price of just $607. That's so much value here. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you guys in the next episode.